playing my one and I know that I haven't done any gotten videos recently. So today I'm going to show you my Pua and Apium tree. These are my two Pua trees. This is the flavor grenade Pua. And over here is the Dapple Dandy Pua. This is the Apium tree. If you didn't know already, uh, pluots are plum and apricots uh, fused, uh, fused genetically together to make a new species. Um, there are stone fruit trees, I think, right? A stone, fruit is, a stone fruit is a kind of fruit that has only one seed, like an apple has many, so it's not a stone fruit. But a peach like, has one pit, so it is a stone fruit. So, if you haven't already known, apiums are apricot plums. The more you know, you probably have seen these stone foods at farmers markets or some supermarkets. And you can tell already that they will taste like a plum and apricot. Not many homeowners have, um, have grown, uh, Pluots in their backyard, and we are too. We have just begun it in like a few years ago, so we're learning about it too. But the problem with ours is that you can see that this whoa, this one is shriveled up. It has like a disease, so we have to pick all these fruits. To prevent that from happening to the to the already uh, not infected ones, so that's what we're gonna do today. We were originally hoping that plu the pluots would ripen up on the tree so that we could pick them and immediately after eat them. The same thing happens to apiums. You can see here that the branches and the apiums are all shriveled up. So we are going to have to pick the apiums and store them later so they can ripen up. There is a lot of bugs around since the, it's getting dark and the sun is starting to set. So we're going to start picking these pluots and the, way, the best pluots right now are the brown and yellow ones. I think red maybe. So we're going to start doing that right now. Really green ones aren't really ripe. Not close to ripening. So. Oh, this one looks good. This one too. And we're going to do that with others. I noticed the, this little bug crawling inside of the pluot, and it looks like it's been eating all out, out all the nectar. So, and you can see a little bug poop, I think, forming. So we're gonna have to Google that. And also, we ha we're gonna have to make sure that we remove these um, infected ones from the ground. You can see here that we have a spot glass full of uh, flavor grenade um, plots. So we're going to use that other big bacas to pick up those uh, dappled dandy plots. Now I have two buckets full of plots and one bucket full of apiums. So we're going to have to wash these uh, fruits to kill the bugs that are inside so that, well, the others don't get eaten too. If there are any homeowners out there who have grown this stone fruit in, this, in their backyard and have had this disease and know how to solve it, please write in the comments how so we can do it too. So, let's go do that right now. And, anyways, I'm Aymon. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Aymon and Leo Say, as usual. And, I'm going to go 
back into the house.